First of all, I am offering my respect to Sri Vibhudesha Tirtha Swamiji and who is my guru and also my like godfather and I studied in his matha and also I was very close to him and he was offering uh, his <coughs> affection on me like anything so that I am very glad to remember him especially in the day of his Aradhana. Just yesterday we had the Aradhana of Sri Vibhudesha Tirtha Swamiji so that just today we are coming here, his institution. So we remember more and we offer our respect to Sri Vibhudesha Tirtha Swamiji. Not only for me, thousands of people, they are blessed by him. That is why I am offering my special respect to Sri Vibhudesha Tirtha Swamiji who is the model for all Swamijis and who is inspiring all Swamijis. So I am very glad to remember him and to visit his uh, uh, institution here. And also his Shishya, Sri Vishwapriya Tirtha Swamiji, he is my classmate and we studied together in his uh, Matha. That is why I am very glad and also I am having the good relationship with the new Swamiji, Ishapriya Swamiji. So he, he was the first Swamiji who was engineer. After that I selected my Shesha as engineer. So he was the inspiration. That is why I <coughs> pay respect to Sri Vishwapriya Swamiji and also I appreciate the efforts um, being made by Sri Vishwa Ishapriya Swamiji also. I am very glad to come here since I am coming here from 48 years. First time during 1975 I visited this site and Vibhudesha Tirtha Swamiji brought me here and that was the first Pariyaya and he welcomed here. First time I was, I was also like a student here. When I, was, I came here I was 14 years old. So he brought me and he showed everything here and since that day several times I have come here and visited this institution so that I am very much attached to this institution and I feel at home and I feel this is mine. I am very glad to visit again in connection with our fourth Pariyaya here. So I appreciate the growth of this institution, how it is growing up year by year. So I am very much proud of this institution. So I pray Lord Krishna to bless this institution and all the students and stuff here. This time I am very glad to come here to propagate Bhagavad Gita also. So next year, January 18th, we are going to have the opportunity to serve Lord Sri Krishna for two years in Udupi 
Krishna temple. In connection with that, we have started a new program called Koti Gita Lekana Yajna, where one crore devotees, they are copying whole Bhagavad Gita and they are going to offer those books to Lord Krishna in Udupi during the period of two years. So, <clears throat> I am very glad to um, introduce that uh, Koti Gita Lekana Yajna here also in this holy institution. This is not only the school or college, but it is Gurukula. Our Purana Prajna institution is not only like modern school, it is based on the spiritual values. That is why I appreciate this kind of schools everywhere. And Sri Vabadesha Tirtha Swamiji, he was <coughs> giving the more importance for culture and our heritage and our spirituality. That is why I am very glad to introduce this Koti Gita Lekanajna here. And also I am very glad that already you have enrolled thousand books already you have booked and uh, thousand students they are following this Bhagavad Gita. That is why I am very glad to appreciate your bent of mind on Bhagavad Gita. If you are reading Bhagavad Gita then only your education will be it will be considered as completed. If you delete Bhagavad Gita your education will be not completed. That is why Gita is the most important text one should read and one should follow. All other things are only for the this life. So whatever we are learning now, it is only for jobs and leading for this life. But if you go through Gita, it is not only for this life, but life after life also, next birth also, it will be useful for us. That is why Gita is the first Granta one should read and follow. That is why I am very glad to propagate Bhagavad Gita everywhere, especially in the <coughs> uh, among all students here. So Bhagavad Gita is considered as a GPS. You know the GPS, in the car we have the GPS. It will guide us to where to go, how to go. It's all the time it is instructing us to take left, take right, like that. So Gita is the GPS for our whole life. So if you insert Gita in your mind, it will guide you how what to do, what to not, and how to go, and how to reach our goal of the life. 